more than a week after the blaze gutted the 24-story Grenfell Tower, killing at least 79 people, the aftershocks are rippling across Britain as the nation grapples with the unsettling prospect that thousands of families may be at risk of a similar fate and could have been for years. Camden Council's extraordinary evacuation of thousands of people who had to grab clothes and whatever else they could find and leave quickly in the dead of night is a jarring example of a gathering political and social crisis. The fact that many of the affected residents live in housing projects and are among the poorest in a rich Western nation has added to the discomfort of Prime Minister Theresa May, who promised to tackle social injustice last year when she took power. For some, the blackened remains of Grenfell Tower, close to some of the city's most expensive homes, has also become a symbol of the economic and class divides in Britain's globalized capital city. And there is angry suspicion that lives could have been saved had relatively small sums of additional money been spent on Grenfell for non-flammable material. Britons were already on edge after two fatal terrorist attacks in London and one in Manchester in less than three months, but the London fire disaster, along with the sense that such a horrific accident might have been avoided, has deepened the mood of gloom and soul-searching. Britain faces what the leader of the Birmingham City Council, John Clancy, told the BBC on Sat.